Hey, welcome to the Culinary Showdown for Epilepsy South Central Ontario. If you've joined us a little earlier, you would have had the fun time of watching our 2019 uh, Culinary Showdown. You've seen some highlights of the show. You've seen some highlights uh, of what goes on. I'm here to discuss with you and let you know what we do and what it is and what the Culinary Showdown is. You've also got to see who last year's winner was, the champion, the cook, Chef Claudio Aprile. So, let me tell you a bit about some stuff. Um, the big saying we've, I've learned over the past couple of years is that the most powerful social media tool, it's not the internet, it's not even Facebook. The most powerful social media content is food. With food, especially in times today, with everybody doing isolation, people cooking and baking and baking bread and baking all kinds of bread. This is what connects all human beings together. So I invite you to learn a bit more about the Culinary Showdown. I'll talk about my experiences last year, because I was one of the competitors last year. And we'll take it from there. And we'll just have some fun times. And we're just going to look. So if you have any questions, please feel free to load them up. And uh, my producer is going to forward them to me. And uh, we'll, I'll try to answer all of your questions or any of your questions as we go. So the, um, the Culinary Showdown, uh, it is a food competition. It is a master chef style competition, complete with, with uh, surprise boxes, you know, with secret ingredients, a lot of that stuff coming up. We do, the day starts around nah, 10 o'clock, 10.30 in the morning. And what happens is you have, you get to go to culinary chef school. And you spend the morning and the better part of the afternoon learning from the from the five chefs that we've got coming up for this year, and they will teach you all kinds of little tricks of the trade, their techniques, what foods pair with what, what doesn't go, how to cook stuff, how to do things. Last year, um, I had the pleasure of working um, with uh, Mary Berg, who was my my chef that I got to work with. But going around the different st stations during the culinary school. I got to learn a few little tips, little tricks, and a couple of really cool recipes. Um, Chef Massimo Capra did this amazing uh, squash risotto. Never would have thought of putting risotto with squash, Meh, but it worked. It worked amazingly well. Chef Michael Smith was with us last year from PEI. Chef Michael taught us all how to literally shuck oysters, to properly shuck oysters. And trust me, there is a way to do it correctly. I just thought, shove the knife in, crack it and go. But no, 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 no. There's a way to do it properly. So we learn different things. Uh, Chef Claudio Prile uh, whipped up a quick ceviche. Never had it before. Never thought I would never order it in a restaurant. Uh, but wow, was it ever good. Learn how to put that together, how to make that, how to do that. So a lot of quick little things. Chef Alvin Lung from MasterChef Canada also. I mean, we had a lot of fun with him teaching us all his little tricks of the trade. I learned the proper way of actually working with lemongrass. I just thought, cut it, chop it in, and shove it into a soup or into whatever you're making. But no, not quite. So it was really well done. I mean, it was a lot of fun. And then we had, uh, I think I got them all. Yeah, and then Mary Berg. Mary Berg, she's amazing. Um, she taught people basically on the dessert side how to do things properly. Uh, you don't whip it, you whisk it, you fold it, how to fold properly. Uh, without causing a flattening down for, you know, if you're doing like an icing. So a lot of people that just you whisk it up real fast. <laughs> Doesn't happen that way. So we had some, we had a lot of fun. The event itself is a long day. So once we finish chef school, you've got a couple of hours to decompress, do your own thing. You can, we've sat, we chatted, we do a whole photo session with the chefs. Um, you do a one-on-one -on -one photo with the chefs. It was a lot of fun. Your team photo with the chefs. You got to talk to the chefs. You got to figure out what you want to do because it was like three, you know, an appetizer, a main, and a dessert. So you do the three things and it's not a time limit. You've got like 20 minutes for some things, 30 minutes for others, and 15 minutes for something else. And when your team is up there cooking, you got to move fast. You think fast on your feet and you go. Do chefs switch around and cheat a little bit? 
Absolutely. Last year, Massimo decided to bring in a one kilogram thing of Parmesan cheese just in case he needed it. Now, I heard the rumor. So what do I do? I go snooping around Chef Massimo's area, found the, the illegal uh, Parmesan cheese, and I kind of scoop it and put it with, Mer with uh, Chef Mary Berg and myself. We never used it, but eh, I kind of leveled the playing field. It's a lot of fun. We laugh. We have a good time. You learn things. Once the competition starts, you're sitting down, you're having dinner with your chef, and then they call you up, and then the, the competition starts. First course, second course, third course. It is a lot, a lot of fun. Um, any, uh, do we have any questions yet so far, or shall I keep going? Nothing yet. Check your Zoom it. chat. Sorry? Check the Zoom chat. OK, why do I like, oh, sorry, there it is. Why do I like to cook? Um, I love to cook. I was I learned to cook uh, when I was very young. My grandmother was a cook, kind of being Ukrainian and half Polish and half Ukrainian. Uh, both grandparents did a lot of cooking, so I learned to cook breads from when I by the time I was 12 years old. I was cooking breads, donuts. Then I graduated to, of course, the old-fashioned. Everybody from Ukrainian, you all learned how to make cabbage rolls. So it became for me something. A little different and today I love to cook because I find cooking very calming very therapeutic when you know it's a rough day outside in the, in the world I come home and I just get I get lost in the kitchen you know with the smells the, the spices and, and trying this and trying that it's just for me it's very relaxing why did I want to cook with Mary aha um I watched Mary uh on season three of MasterChef Canada and it's when I first noticed Mary Berg. And I just thought she was just the, the nicest, neatest, most down to earth person you'd ever want to possibly meet. And in my wildest dreams, I never thought I would have that opportunity. So when I found out I was on Team Mary, I was like ecstatic. Um, and I can tell you honestly, what you see on uh, a Mary TV show uh, is exactly who she is in real life. Uh, maybe a little crazier in real life, but. That's who she is. She is just wonderful. So I had a, I was honored to cook with her. I had a blast cooking with her. I learned a lot of stuff with from her, um, a lot of things at the time. So it was a lot of fun. Um, so what we've got coming up, uh, sorry, how would you explain the colors who's never been before? Again, I'll repeat that one very quickly. Culinary Showdown is a competition. It's a master style chef competition. Uh, you learn your trades and once the actual thing starts you got five cooking stations happening all at the same time great big like behind you there's a timer counting down exactly like you'd see on some of these cooking competitions it's a timer going down and you've got to get everything done cooked designed plated and ready to go for the judges so yes each round is judged by five or six judges i believe and they're all scored and they're independent judges um, they're from all walks of life. Some are chefs, some are, are executive directors, some are CEOs, some are mayors. Um, and they will base on a, a whole criteria of the taste, the texture, the presentation, the flavoring, all the fun stuff that you would normally see the judges work on. And then you're scored individually. So they'll announce the score of the first round. And then once the first round is done, you're back sitting, you're having your next course. So you're eating the dinner. And then they'll call you up the speeches. They'll call you up. You go up for the second course. And then that's when you have your, like, your mystery box ingredients. You don't know what you're getting. So for each round, you don't know what you're getting. You open it up. And I think for last year, for the dinner portion, the entree portion, we had duck. I've never cooked a duck in my life. Uh, I see them swimming in water and that's about it. Mary taught me how to cook duck and how to cook duck to perfection. So we learn, you learn. Um, they teach as they go, they work, they do a lot of the cooking, you do a lot of the cooking, you do a lot of almost majority of the prep work and they put it, help you put it all together. They teach you to plate. I learned how to, how to slice up strawberries and fan strawberries on a plate. Learn it, it was never the way that I do it. So it's a lot of fun. I mean, we've got um, this cocktail party, this virtual cocktail, VIP cocktail party coming up next week. And I can strongly suggest there'll be a lot more interesting 
uh, a lot more detail presented at that. And I highly, and I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. And where to sign up, how to sign up. It's by invitation only. So if you want to get into it, you email and they'll send you the, the, uh, the link to come in. Uh, those are nice tools behind you. What are they? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you can see it here. This one here is my Smeg juicer. Love it. Uh, Smeg's a big uh, supporter of the culinary showdown. Smeg provide last year they provided all the, um, the appliances, the fridges, they apply all the, 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 the everything, eat for five stations. Plus they provided uh, prizes for to uh, raffle off prizes to bid on. So Smeg is a huge, huge supporter for the culinary. I've got beside the Smeg, uh, where is it? There it is. I've got my Instapot. I've got my, my handy dandy waffle maker, bread maker. I've got uh, infuser. I've got my pasta machine. Um, I use it all. And there's, there's a whole bunch more hidden that you can't see. But I use everything that's possibly to use. Uh, so let me move on. Um, the cocktail party. It is, a, it is important for you to, and I'll, we'll put up the flyer at the end of this little uh, presentation. It's important to Arvis repeat, it is a private virtual party. And I can tell you, we've got some surprise guests coming in for it. I'm not gonna say who, you gotta sign up to find out. And one of the surprise guests <clears throat> will be doing a bit of a demonstration, a recipe demonstration. I don't know what recipe it is. I don't, I have no clue, but I know it is a chef coming in to do a presentation on the, at the party. Uh, so that will <clears throat> start, I believe it is Thursday, uh, May 20th, well, I'll take 27th, but we'll, I'll, I'll, pull, I'll pull all this stuff up for you. When you do that, when you come, if you come to a virtual party, you got to have fun, have fun with it. I've got people already, we've got a whole bunch of people lined up coming. They're taking it to the, right up to the limit. They are getting dressed up. They're getting into their cocktail attire. They're mixing their own special drinks. They're going to be having that on the Zoom conference, on the Zoom conference calls. Uh, they're doing it to, right up to the nines. Not mandatory. You come in, come as you are. But if you want to have some fun, you want to doll it up. I mean, we've all been stuck in our four walls uh, with sweats and T-shirts and doing stuff. So if you want a bit of a break and just have some fun, this is the place to do it uh, with the cocktail. Again, Smeg is a huge involvement. Smeg has, um, for everybody who signs up, uh, you'll be receiving a, a raffle ballot and Smeg has donated a really, really nice uh, appliance, counter appliance for the event. So we're really looking up for that. Uh, any quick, May 20, uh, sorry, May 28th at 7 p.m. is the start time. I think I beg to differ uh, on that one, my mistake. Uh, so it's May 28th. 7 p.m. is a, is the kickoff. Uh, you can sign up for the um, for to be, to compete. So that's the other thing I want to talk about the competition itself. How do you why do you sign up? You sign up as a bit of a fundraiser. Okay, so what you do is you sign up to compete. The top 50 fundraisers get to actually compete in and on stage with the chefs. So five chefs, ten people per chef. And you off you go cooking. So again, it's the top 50 fundraisers will be competing in the culinary showdown with a chef, with a celebrity chef, with a master chef. I can honestly say that. So what does one wear to a virtual cocktail party? Well, you can, like I said, you can dress up. You can get uh, you can do it everywhere, whatever you want to wear. Um, I don't know, we've all been isolated and not getting out a lot. So to be able to throw on that old suit and tie or that all, you know, the, the dresses and the, meh, you can wear that. It's a cocktail party. It's meant to have fun, meant to dress it up. Uh, but again, nothing is mandatory on that one. Uh, but we do encourage, I'd rather have you there than worry about, oh, I have to dress up for this thing. You don't have to, but I would I would have to say have some fun with it. Have some fun with it. I will be there, and I have my own concoction of uh, beverages that I'll be I'll be there, and I'll probably wear my tux just because I haven't worn my tux in a long time. So I'll probably put the old bow tie on, the tux, the jacket, the whole nine yards. 
So if you want to sign up, wait till after the cocktail party. They will be explaining things in detail, uh, exactly what the sign up, how, how it works for signing up. Um, if you want to go take a look, uh, give you an idea, you can go to the culinaryshowdown.com. Uh, you can take a look at the sign up stuff. You can take a look at some of the information on, online there. But there's be a lot more detail and how things are working at the party, uh, at the virtual party. It's uh, it'll be a long. It's a it's, it's what it would be a long um, process for you to raise money. So it's not like a short time span. Like I have a month to raise it. You will have between now and October to raise your money. Um, a lot of stuff like that. We have a celebrity last year. Uh, John O'Hurley was our guest host uh, last year. We're hoping to bring John O'Hurley back this year for as a guest host. And um, very quickly, this is John's story. Uh, John's connection with epilepsy. Um, his sister had epilepsy and uh, his sister died many, 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 many years ago. And John has made his mission to um, support epilepsy agencies, epilepsy causes in North America. So uh, we are the first uh, epilepsy agency to bring John into Canada to work with for epilepsy and to uh, work with us on the Culinary Showdown. Uh, we, he's the one who introduced us to the Culinary Showdown with uh, the group that put us together and it's just been, it's just taken off from there. So it's a it's, it's becoming a main staple for us. It's a fundraising. It's a really, really different night. It's different than a lot of your typical gala nights. This one's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a lot of fun for the, for an audience member. If you don't want to sign up for it, you can come, um, you can buy your tickets uh, in September to come to and actually just attend the culinary showdown. Um, watch the craziness happen on stage. We've had people come up and they're taking pictures and they're shooting, sh shooting pictures, they're shooting videos. They have all the, you know, the different things happening. Um, and a lot of the chefs around, we've had people come up and talk to the chefs. So you have a lot of great time. So I'm gonna ask my producer, uh, you wanna show that video and uh, go for it. Thanks Trev, let me know when. There we go. All right, so we've gotten all that together. So you get a bit of an idea of what the, what the show was like. You saw me in a couple, if you're watching that, you saw me in a couple little things happening over there. I would really encourage you to sign up for this event, to sign up for the, for, this, for the cocktail party. It's gonna be a lot of fun. The event itself is absolutely something that you've never experienced uh, before. Um, if you are a foodie or if you know who is a, who, people who are your friends of yours are food fanatics, have them sign up also, have them take a look at it and, um, or get together and have a party. Have a little party at your place and take a look and get it together and get a little viewing party going. Um, it's a lot of fun. It was something, it was a lot more than what I expected it when I signed up for it. It was a lot more than I expected. It was, it was mind blowing for me and I'm a foodie, I'm a foodie fanatic. And it really left me speechless in a lot of cases. I was, my mind was blown. It was a lot 
fun. I cannot, I mean, we're, it's hard to describe what the culinary show then unless you experience it. So I encourage every single one of you who's always over watching, sign in for the, um, sign up for the, uh, the, the VIP uh, event on May 28th. Uh, my producer, Trevor, will put up the flyer shortly when I ask him to. Uh, are there any other questions before I go? Nothing happening? All right. No, no more questions. Okay, so Trevor, if you want to put up the uh, the flyer, I'm going to bid you adieu. Uh, happy cooking. Uh, may your yeast always rise, and may your bread never burn. Again, if you take a look. At the very bottom, you'll see RSVP by May 25th. Just send your request to Leanne at solutionswithimpact.com. Very at the, at the very bottom of the screen there. We do have a special guest appearance. We have a couple of guest appearances happening. And once you RSVP, special guest appearance. Once you RSVP, um, Leanne will send you the link. And then uh, off we go to this virtual cocktail party. This is a first for us. We've never actually done a virtual cocktail party before, but I know that it's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, so I know there's quite a bit already on board for this. So uh, don't miss out, please don't miss out. It is a fun time. You will not, I guarantee you will not regret being a part of the culinary showdown in support of Epilepsy South Central Ontario. And I think that's about it. We've got all the information. So once again, thank you for joining me on this little adventure. And again, if you have any questions or if any questions come to mind, shoot them onto Facebook. And uh, there we go. We've got another video happening. This is Mary showing us how to do all kinds of fun stuff. There's the duck cracking your, yeah. This is all of the chef school you're seeing. So again, you're learning the different tricks that we taught that I talked about. You're learning everything. And then John's walking around doing some interviews with the chefs coming up. It's Michael Smith from PEI doing his uh, doing his stuff. That's Mary teaching us a bunch of stacking, how to make little fun cakes. Smeg, huge, huge supporter for us. Absolutely thankful to have Smeg with us. John talking. There's just some of your judges. Got me a Bonnie Crombie in the back end there. And again, you see the craziness of all that, of all what we're doing and running around. We've got the fridges going. People are, are plating, mixing, stirring. We're all teaming up. And then once the plates are down, we're serving them to the judges so that they can actually taste. And they can score. Again, that's your duck. That we were all taught how to cook duck breast properly. Cynthia Milburn, our CEO, is talking about why this was, event is so important to the continuation of epilepsy cell center, our programs, our services for our clients, uh, more so now than ever with the COVID-19, the self-isolation, um, the, keeping the ability to keep our clients uh, going to help our clients. It's so important. Again, somebody sauteing strawberries. We got 
Let me spiralize zucchini. Everybody's frantic. You had like, I think for the entree, you had 30 minutes and then that's one of the plates. So you learn a lot of tricks and learning how to plate. One of our, our ambassadors, Chloe Gallagher, she's had major, major surgery. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it uh, if that's her story, but she is an epilepsy warrior. I mean, beyond belief, but what she's gone through to where she's come. This is why we do this. This is why I do this. Chopping, cutting. This is the dessert menu. Coming up shelf, Alvin, Mary. Mary loves to flambe her bananas, let me tell you. I was pouring the tequila shots to go with the, uh, to go with the bananas flambe. It's a lot of fun. All right. So I think we're coming up to 7.30. Uh, thank you very much. Um, we're going to, I'm going to sign off. So please, once again, uh, thank you everybody for showing up onto this and please, uh, I'll get Trevor to put up the, the uh, poster one more time and I'll leave it up there for a couple of minutes just so you can make sure that you, uh, you get the email of where it is to join, where to request to join into the, uh, the cocktail party and bon appetit.